Hey you, do you want to be able to pull stuff off like this? Oh no. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to strafe properly, as well as give you guys a couple of common mistakes that a lot of beginners make. If you guys find this video useful and enjoy it as well, please feel free to like, sub, and share. Comment down below if you guys find anything I missed. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So before we get into anything at all, one thing I want you guys to do is go into a workshop code that lets you go into a third person perspective uh, so that you can get a better view of how your characters that you play move. There's a couple of things that some people get wrong. One thing that you'll hear a lot is um, let's say you're going against a Widowmaker and people just say, well, hey, uh, just AD, AD spam. And some people hear that and they kind of just go like this. But if you think about it, you're kind of moving in the same place and the Widowmaker could just aim in the center and just shoot you in the head. That would be bad. But by AD strafing, you want to kind of time it out and make yourself unpredictable and find your kind of rhythm. Because if you do this over and over again, it's a really easy pattern to recognize as the enemy. And they can kind of, like I said, just shoot you in the middle compared to doing this. And you can kind of see that at least on Soldier 76, you have a tiny bit of head bob and you can kind of see how when I move to the left or right, he kind of leans over that way. Um, so you can kind of kind of get that pattern down. So once you get that down, um, you can kind of see, oh, this guy kind of crouches a bit low. You can go into doing crouch. 80 80 strafing and this is really hard to hit you don't really want to let go of crouch immediately just hold it down a little bit because then you get the benefit of the crouch a little more compared to just doing this where you can kind of see like i am pressing the crouch button but my character isn't really isn't really moving as i or he's mostly staying upward compared to if if i hold it one character that really benefits from this is Tracer. And because as you can see, when Tracer goes left and right, she actually goes like quite longer rather than soldiers, which means that she has a lot bigger of a head bobbing movement. Like I mentioned before, and Tracer still keeps her head bobbing movement when she's crouched too. Um, so you can kind of once again also be more sporadic with your movement. And it will be way harder to hit since she already has a l smaller hitbox in general anyways compared to the rest of the DPS cast. One really bad example of crouching. Um, Torb's already really small. And you see when I crouch, he barely moves his head. He has a tiny bit of head bob. You can kind of see he moves to the left and right just a bit. So this is a case where AD strafing uh, would be a bit better compared to... Um, AD crouching because you see it makes no difference and you can't forget when you crouch you're also a bit slower uh, don't forget that another bad example is someone like Ash um, Ash does crouch a little bit but like I said um, with Ash since she can aim down as well you also move a bit slower uh, going from this to do this and then not only that, if I'm aiming and I crouch, it, once again, it makes me move a lot slower, which makes it a lot easier for the enemy to hit you. Now, one thing that's really bad, unless you're Genji or Tracer, is jumping. Sometimes you think, oh, if I jump, don't I get even more sporadic movement if I do this rather than AD? Realistically, let's say you're going against someone like a Cassidy or Hanzo or anyone that does really big damage. Compared to just AD strafing, it's way more unpredictable compared to just jumping. And why is that? Because if you think about it, when you're jumping, even if you press AD, AD, you're kind of falling into a certain spot. Let's say I'm here and I'm jumping. Imagine this is me jumping. I'm dropping to an exact spot. Even if I try to counteract, it's already too late and I'm jumping. So now there isn't really a prediction. All they really have to do is just, if I'm jumping and I go from here to here, all I have to do as an enemy is just aim at the end point and you're dead. Now, the reason why I say unless you're Genji or Tracer is because if you're Genji, it's still kind of bad on Genji. Because you can still end up down on the ground, uh, but you can dash, you can deflect, 
So this is kind of like your insurance. Now, if you don't have those abilities, it might be a different story and you still just die. Same thing with Tracer. If I'm, if I'm shooting someone and I jump, I can just blink, you know? Thank you guys for making it to the end. I'm thinking about making a sort of part two to this video about how to strafe against certain heroes. So if you guys don't want to miss out, please feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace and love, baby.